My name is Eric Lee, and today I want to talk about the code 306, additive number. Additive number is a string whose digits can form additive sequence. And what do I mean? Uh, let, let's, let me give you an example. For example 1, the input is 1, 1, 2, 3, 5, 8. If we regard 1 as the first number and 1 as the second number, then we will find an interesting thing. 1 plus 1 is equal to 2, which is the following character. And 1 plus 2 is equal to 3. And 2 plus 3 is equal to 5. And 3 plus 5 is equal to 8. And we call it additive sequence. So if we, a string can form an additive sequence, we call it additive number. So for this case, we will return true. And for example 2, if we regard the first character as the first first number and the two second and the third character as the second number, we will find that one plus ninety-nine is equal to one hundred and the ninety-nine plus one hundred is equal to one hundred and ninety-nine. Then which we know that it is also an additive sequence. So how can we solve this problem? We will find that if we decide whether this the first number and the second number, the following the following sequence, there is only way, one way to form the following sequence. So we just check all the possibility of the first number and the second number. Then we can get the solution. Mean. Let me give you an example. For the first example, we can start from the first deep number, we can regard it the length 1, and then the second number we can regard it as length 2. And we can share all of the possibility. It, 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 it's the first possibility. And for the second one, we can share the first number is 1, and the second number is 1, 2. So by this way, we can share all of the possibility. But for this example, we are very lucky because if we set the first the length of the first number is one, we can get one, and the length of the second number is one, we can also get one, and we will find that one plus one is equal to two, one plus two is equal to three, two plus three is equal to five, three plus five is equal to eight. Then we know it is an additive sequence, so it is an additive number. But for example two, if we start from the first number is length of the first number is 1 and the length of the second number is 1. We will find that the first number will be 1 and the second number will be 9. However, 1 plus 9 is equal to 10 and it is not 10. So we know that it, it is not an additive sequence. So we can check the second possibility which is the length of the first number is 1 and the length of the second number is 2. Then we can get 1 and 99. And for this case, we can find 1 plus 99 is equal to 100. And 99 plus 100 is equal to 199. So we know that it is an additive sequence. So the key idea of the solution is to check all of the possibility of the first number and the second number. And we know that if we check we, we will set the first number and then the second number. The following sequence, there is one way to form the following sequence. So we just check whether the following sequence is equal to the input. If it is, it, it is equal, then we return true. If not, we just check the next possibilities. Do is to know how to implement this idea. And I can implement this idea by this code. And for the first three lines, what, what I am doing is to enumerate all of the possibility. And we can let the num, num1 and num2 to be the all of the possibility. And that, that is a tricky part here, because the problem, we cannot allow the leading zero. However, zero itself it is OK. So we should check whether the length of the the number one and number two is equal bigger than one. If it is bigger than one and has a leading zero, it, it cannot be an additive sequence. So we just check the next possibility. And here, here is the implementation of check the following sequence. 
if we know that if we know nan one and nan two, then the following sequence should be nan three. So for the remain three, it it should start with the nan three. If we did not start with the nan three, we should break the while loop and check the next possibility. And if we if it is start with the nan three, we just add it into the j and at the end. If j is equal to n, we know that the following sequence is equal to the input, so we just return through. And if if we cannot find any of the possibility can form an additive sequence, we just return false. The next thing we want to share is whether what is the time complexity of this solution. For this two for loop, because we want to share all the possibility, it will be n square. And for this part, because we just want to check the whether the following sequence is equal to an input and it will be big O n. So total time complexity of this solution will be big O n to the power of three. Because for this problem, the max n is thirty five. Uh, sorry, let me see. Here. You can see the constraint here. The max n is 35, so it is okay to implement a big O n to the power of 3 method. So it is a solution of this problem. Thank you for watching my video and have a nice day. Bye bye.